Police are investigating tonight after a string of robberies and violent attacks overnight in the Dutchtown neighborhood of South St. Louis. Fox 2's Max Knight joins us now live near St. Louis City South Patrol. And Max, investigators think at least two of these cases may be connected. Hey, Mandy, good evening. That's right. All three of these crimes happened within a mile of each other. We talked to neighbors tonight in the Dutchtown neighborhood who said they are shocked to learn these new details. A busy night for police in the Dutchtown neighborhood of South St. Louis. Investigations are underway after three violent crimes happened within a mile of each other early Wednesday. Around 12:15, a woman was robbed at gunpoint by five men right by Marquette Park. 30 minutes later, a man was hit in the head with a flashlight and robbed at gunpoint near Chippewa in Nebraska. 90 minutes after that, a man reported being cut by two masked men carrying a gun and a knife at his home near Virginia and Merrimack. Shania Burchette lives right by Marquette Park. You can't even bring your own your kids outside to the park without them shooting or robbing somebody. That's 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 sad. Other residents say it's unfair older working people around here have to fear for their safety. They got to go through things like that, man. That's not right. You know what I'm saying? Because you shouldn't mess with nobody ain't messing with you. You know, my point of view at 58. There is good things, but it just seems like the, the bad's outweighing the good sometimes anymore. Crystal Blanton's lived in Dutchtown her entire life. She says she's also careful about when and where she lets her kids play. I don't want them to go outside and play and never come back in the house. Robberies and aggravated assaults are up in Dutchtown this year compared to last. Neighbors tell us it's usually safe here during the day, but they made it clear at night, it's a much different story. That's why I don't be out of the streets. <laughs> I know to go home at 9 o'clock. Oh, goodness. I try to be in the house by 9 o'clock. That's when the creeps come out at nighttime. That's why I stay out. You will see me outside at this time, but after 10 o'clock, you won't see me. And again, St. Louis Metro Police are investigating all three of these crimes. A police spokesperson tells Fox 2, quote, while these investigations are still in the early stages, we are hoping that anyone who may have witnessed these incidents will come forward, adding that no tips are too small to be considered. Reporting live in South St. Louis tonight, Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.